What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, son, today we got to talk about the Atlanta Hawks because y'all have given Bogdan a contract, right? And the Sacramento Kings has 48 hours in to match it. But if you were to ask me for my two, two cents about this situation, I don't think the Sacramento Kings is going to match that contract because it's no reason for them to try to match that contract because... That was the reason for them trying to do that sign and trade with Milwaukee because it was a situation this previous season where they did not know who they was going to start. Bogdan or Buddy Hill, right? They gave Buddy Hill the money, which had the expectation that Buddy Hill was going to get the tick. But unfortunately, they were still battling between the two players because it was like they was not 100% sure. Since they was unable to trade Buddy Hill, you got to give Buddy Hill the green light and Bogdan has to be the one that goes because Sacramento Kings is not in a situation to give him the money. Y'all given him and still have him potentially on the bench that is a big no-no and since i believe bogdan is going to the Atlanta hawks this only makes your team better because of what he does he can create his own shot and i feel like he can give you some playmaking ability that which helps the team even more when you have players like rondo and chris dunn who gives you playmaking and defense on that roster right then you have the pieces like gallinari and john collins and clunk Capella, as well as having players like deandre hunter and cam reddish that can only improve and and as well and i can't even forget about Bruno Fernando who is another optimal piece that y'all have on your roster while y'all still having all of your first round picks from my knowledge right and this is why I think the Atlanta Hawks has a lot of different ways to maneuver this team to becoming a legitimate eastern playoff team because y'all have the young talent y'all have the contracts and y'all have the picks in order to make another big splash this season right and this is why I feel like it's no excuse right like even with Clint Capella y'all had the second best rebounder in the league right y'all have John Collins y'all have the pieces and I understand Clint Capella last season wasn't able to play because he was battling with that foot injury but now y'all should have a fully healed Clint Capella John Collins the same thing I know he was battling the suspension right which allowed y'all not to get John Collins in the early parts of the season but now y'all have John Collins and Clint Capella healthy for the beginning of this season as well as Gallinari who could potentially give you 20 points right and that's like come on that's a he's a really great player he can play the three he can play the four he can stretch the floor and he compliments Trey Young he compliments John Collins and he can play off the bench if he is needed to because he understands his role Rondo understands his role he understands what they have to do to get in the playoff and it's the Eastern Conference to pit the icing on the cake right the East the East is probably this conference the east conference is a conference where any team has a legitimate chance to squeeze in eighth through six because of how how optimal all teams below the fifth seed in the east is right and you say what do i mean because a lot of these teams are not 100 percent solid they still need some role players they need uh certain stars and i think atlanta to be honest if you look at them on paper and just just be real about it Atlanta probably has the most legitimate roster out of a lot of the bottom tier teams in the East, which is why I have to say Atlanta has no excuse not to make the playoff unless something drastic happens where four out of five of their starters get hurt for a good portion of the season like Chicago, right? Which unfortunately, I don't think is going to happen. And actually, that's not unfortunate. That's just legitimate. I think Atlanta Hawks is going to be healthy for the most part. I think Atlanta is going to have a really great season. I think they're going to almost win 40 games this season, and I feel like they should be in the playoff. If not, this would be a huge downfall, a huge this would be bad for Atlanta. And I think a lot of Atlanta fans can agree with that because, hey, Atlanta, this team right here can make it to the playoff. I'm not saying they're going to make it to, out the East, right, because they still have some growing to do, obviously. But right now, this season here, they should make it to the playoff, gain some experience, and understand what they have to do to get better, understand what they have to do to make it out the East next time, and what they have to do in order to make sure Trey Young has the best possible team around him. So down in the comments below, let me know how y'all feel about this. Do y'all think the Atlanta Hawks can do more, or do y'all, or y'all are very, very happy with the moves that Atlanta Hawks is doing right now? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content because we are on the 1K grind. And with y'all, I know I can get there. So, with that being said, ghost. Hey, hey, motivated all about cash flow. Ran it up and ran out of the skills. In the field, and we turned into hoops. For the clip, like, bonds, we show. Just like some soldiers, we choke.